let me get in the mood. Let me think. Like I said in that video a long time ago that I did, I am in no position to actually give advice because I'm not doing very well in my love life at that time. I was in a mess when I did that video because I was very unsure of how I'm feeling. Now, I'm wide awake. I know exactly how I feel. I know what's going on in my love life and stuff like that. So I decided to do a remake because this is when I am in the position to give advice, to talk you guys through this kind of situation and maybe help some of you out. I'm just going to use he as the default gender. Change the gender however you like it. If you had a bad breakup, then I'm sure one of them, at least one of your exes, is a freaking bitch. The first kind I'm going to talk about now, which is those people who want you, but they don't want you in a sense where they want to spend forever with you, they just want you. Which is also known as flings. That is the stupidest thing or choice that somebody can ever let it happen to themselves. Because I mean, what's the point of getting with somebody knowing that there's no future between the two of you or just getting in this kind of uh, flingy relationship that is pointless. Like, there's no end to this kind of relationship other than bad endings. I understand that sometimes people just want to have fun, but if you are somebody who just is looking for fun, then don't go to the people who are looking for a stable relationship because it's really heartbreaking. Let me tell you how to get over it. You have two options. I cannot assure you that they will work, but it's worth a try. The first one is to tell them how you really feel. The second is to just walk away. If you know them well enough that they are just not going to give a damn about you. And since they don't, then walk away. Because if you're looking for a stable relationship, those people are not worth your time. Trust me. I've wasted a lot of my time on this kind of people and this kind of shit. And now, I wouldn't even want to say hi to them when I see them outside. Don't think how you cannot live without them. Think about how you can live your life happier without them. By no means am I saying that just wanting to have fun or fooling around is wrong because if that's what makes you happy and your partner happy, then just do it because it's none of my business. But if looking for somebody who are looking for a stable relationship makes you happy, then go away. On to the next point. People who are a cheater, just a jerk or bitch in general. The two of you are so madly in love, baby here and baby there, all the time in public, kissing here and there, blah 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 blah, with tons of unicorns and cupcakes and rainbows and glitters and whatever girly things. And then suddenly, they come saying, I want to break up without a valid reason. Because weeks after, you're going to see him with somebody else. And that happens to me before. I have no idea whether if he's going to watch this or not but I hope he does because I hate you man I hate you so much I cannot remember the year but it happened a few years ago he wanted to break up on June 4th or 5th and guess what he got a new girlfriend on the 6th and you know what was his reason to break up with me I cannot even remember but I'm sure that it's something that I believed in I even remember questioning him like Hey, I thought you said blah blah blah. How come you're with another girl just two days or one day after breaking up with me? And he said something like, Oh, I just fell for this girl. I think it's easier to handle when the relationship ended off with hatred. Because after that, you're just going to be like, Fuck him, fuck her, fuck you, fuck everyone. You know what I mean? But if it ended off with sadness, like you just don't blame him for whatever he had shitted on you. And that's where I come in. <laughs> I'm not sure whether if this is going to help, but I'll just say from experience, a disclaimer, don't kill anyone, don't harm anyone, don't hurt anyone. The first one is the most effective one I feel like. It's to turn the sadness into hatred because once you hit somebody, you wouldn't want that person back in your life. 
you wouldn't even want to see that person anymore. And I'm going to tell you a few things where you can bring yourself to hate that somebody. He didn't care about you. He don't care about how you feel. So why should you let him affect you? He is not the only one who you think is perfect. He is not the only one who you think is all that you need. He is not the right one for you because you deserve better. You deserve somebody who will actually love you, who will actually be there for you, who will actually cares for you. Have I convinced you yet? Because it's really true, you deserve a lot better if you come across this kind of idiot. Option number two is to look for somebody who really cares for you, be it friends, family, or just Tumblr. Talk about it to somebody, cry it out, and then get over it. If you have nobody to go to, then come to me. I'm reachable at makjpersonal at gmail.com. I changed it to gmail instead of at life.com. So talk to me if you have nobody to talk to because I will listen. I will always listen to your problems. One thing I can promise you is I will read it word by word. Whatever you said to me only comes to me and it will be private between the two of us unless you give me permission to share it in a video or to anybody close to me but without any permission I will not share your personal things because I know how personal it is I'm grateful for every email I received be it somebody who tells me they're a fan or just somebody who are telling me their problems I really appreciate and I'm grateful that there's people like you who trust me with all your heart and who appreciates me. It's really unbelievable that there's actually people who watch a few minutes of my life and think I'm something. This video is getting kind of... <laughs> I don't know how to put it but this is all. I don't wanna throw too many options to you guys otherwise you'll be too confused or it'll just make things worse so I will end it like that if you are going through this kind of things I wish you the best of luck I hope you can really be happy again and I shall see you guys in my next video bye